What's going on guys? Big Bear 77 back at you with a real quick video. This is just a quick introduction to this video. Um I'm going to be talking a little bit about SmackDown. As you all know, I did not do a SmackDown review this week because of uh, my busy schedule, uh, some health issues, things like that. I like to try to get those out to you guys, but sometimes, you know, other things foresee. Uh, later today, I will have up my uh, 205 and NXT live reaction. Um... I'm going to be honest with you guys, uh, I did not watch 205 on Tuesday night, I watched it the next day, and then NXT, I, I just watched it today, um, well, I, I'm going to watch it today, I haven't watched that one yet, uh, bit, bit, was busy yesterday, that's why I know, uh, no, this video didn't go up yesterday, I actually recorded it today too, uh, today is Thursday by the way, um, and then that's why the NXT 205 review did not go up last night. Anyways, I'm going to get on out of here. Uh, let's get into the video. I didn't want to do a long introduction. So catch you guys in a bit. Okay, now let's talk about Alexa Bliss. She comes down. She does her talk. She's about ready to um, announce who she's going to um, face at WrestleMania. And she said, let's talk about who I'm not going to face first. It's not going to be Naomi because of her boo-boo. It's not going to be Nikki because she's back there getting uh, nursed back to health by her, by her superhero boyfriend. It's not going to be Kamala because she's somewhere underneath a bridge taking care of her troll boyfriend. And it's not going to be Chucky, which is Nikki, which is Becky Lynch. Um, Becky Lynch comes down. She tells her why she's going to beat her. Naomi comes down and says that we had some kind of deal. I love this line from uh, Alexa. Are you on catnip, no, you on, uh, catnip uh, Nettie? Um, so... Then uh, Mickey James grabs the microphone and, and looks like she's going to defend uh, Alexa Bliss. But she's not. No, no. She's uh, throwing her hat in for the title. <laughs> Knew that was coming. So they all arguing. When you hear Daniel Bryan's music, and Daniel Bryan comes out and says, Me and Shane are back in the back listening to your blissitation. And we would have graded it in an F, except you said something that caught our ears and our attention. You said you're the best woman on the SmackDown roster. Well, here's my proposal. You're going to be fighting, defending that title at WrestleMania against, and everybody waited. The anticipation was so big. Every available woman on the SmackDown roster. Wow. So that means any woman that's available to compete got a shot at the title if they're on the SmackDown roster. That means Mickey James could become champion at WrestleMania. That means Becky Lynch could become champion at WrestleMania. Now, who may not be available? Naomi, the injury. Let's just be honest. Unless she's not as hurt as they're putting off and they're using that as part of the storyline, which I highly doubt. Um, but there's a possibility of that, as always, with the WWE. But she's most likely not going to be there. Possibly Nikki, depending if she does double duties, because everybody expects Nikki and John Cena to take on The Miz and Maurice in a mixed tag match. But who is available? All the other ones, pretty much. But that's what he is. Um, but now when jo when he comes out to make the announcement, a lot of people, including myself, thought, okay, he's going to bring out NXT Superstar. Yeah, you know I'm going here. Asuka. No, he didn't. But that doesn't mean Asuka will not be in this match. Because I want you to I want you to go back and watch the, watch the uh, announcement. Go to uh, WWE's YouTube page and watch the announcement. He said, All available women on the roster. 
right? He didn't say current. He said all available. That means they could become available on Sunday itself. So let's say Oscar goes in uh, to NXT TakeOver, drops the title. Signs that night or even the next day on the SmackDown roster. But no one says anything. Because what happens is all the women are in the ring. They're all ready to fight. They're ready for the, the shot at the women's title. And then all of a sudden, Asuka's music plays. Could you imagine a pop at WrestleMania if Asuka enters the ring for the women's title? And if Asuka wins it, that would be so amazing. I, I'm excited for that opportunity. Um, also, there's a big possibility that Mickey James is going to take the title. Becky Lynch could get it. Like I said, it, it is a lot of possibilities with this match. There could be other women that could be signed on to the roster before then. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see who's all going to be in that match. And you won't know for sure until the match happens. Um, so, that's that. Uh, the women's title will be on the line at WrestleMania against all SmackDown win available SmackDown women competitors. And I'm excited because of the possibilities, right? Now, let's talk about what happened with Randy Orton and AJ Styles. Now, as any of you have been paying any attention, um, Randy Orton said he wasn't going to face Bray Wyatt. He gave up his title opportunity after winning the Royal Rumble, which is unprecedented because no winner of the Royal Rumble ever gives up the title shot, but Randy Orton did. Then Randy Orton, AJ Styles earned the number one contendership, but Randy Orton burned down the shack and Sister Abigail and all that other stuff and said, I'm coming for you, Bray, at WrestleMania in my title, in that title. Then, that left Shane and uh, Daniel Bryan to make the decision to force them to, uh, AJ Styles and Randy Orton to have a match. Um, the match happened. Randy Orton wins. We now know it's going to be Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt, WrestleMania. I'm excited about that one. But what does that leave AJ Styles? Now, this is what I'm getting at. Okay, we all know what was going to happen with the with the Randy Orton match. And and personally, I didn't think it made any sense to for Randy Orton to give it up and then get it back, right back. Um, but now it does make a little more sense because what happened after SmackDown was you had a little bit of an uh, 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 argument in the back locker room. And it's kind of interesting. A lot of people, I, I see people posting online, that was real, that was real, that was real, that was important storyline. Number one, WWE is not going to release the video like that. Number two, it's kind of funny that former wrestlers that are producers on the show now seem to be all back there with Shane. Guys that are used to the storylines, that act for a living. Road Dog, guys like that. So that tells me right there is part of the storyline, which I already knew. But it's setting up for... Maybe Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles, right? Or does Shane McMahon come out and say, I can't compete. Doctors won't let me. So your opponent is... And bring someone up. Maybe a Nakamura. Who knows? Maybe he goes on over to the Raw roster and bring back uh, the Demon King. Hmm? But we figure setting something up with Shane and AJ. And you're gonna, it's gonna come more in the picture on Tuesday night when they're back together. So I thought that was very interesting because that looks like it's that's what it's going towards. And it's been going towards that way. And the leak information saying that it was gonna be AJ Styles versus Shane, and now it's starting to look to come more like that's gonna be the match unless Shane cannot compete. And then at that time he will bring someone out to compete in his place. I'm excited for this. So. That could be an interesting situation and an interesting storyline. I want to see where they're going to go with this. Anyways, that's all I got. I'm not even going to make an outro. Everything's in the link. Comment, like, whatever. I tried a different camera angle. I think I'm going back to the other way because uh, I like want to look over here. Yeah, I'm addressing this. I want to look over here, not at the camera. But anyways, it's what it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. This is Big Bear. I'm signing out. Peace. Uh, I can't wait for WrestleMania.